Hey girl, hey! Before you ask, because I know everyone's going to, I just know the hair tutorial on this. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't expect any of you to ask. Say what? I flip the camera open. Okay, I'm done. Anyway, so this is a nail polish collection. And really quickly, I'm just going to show you how I store it. Um, it's really not a good way to store it because you're supposed to store them upright. But some of them are upright, but not very many of them. But I keep it in a drawer in my little uh, beauty tower of power. And these are all my nail polishes. See, some of them are upright. But some of them, they don't fit. Like, they'll knock over. But yeah, so this is an overview of how I store them. And now I'm just going to run down. Um, hold on. Now I'm just going to give you a rundown of what nail polish that I have. First of all, I have six of these little, first of all, I have six of these little glow-in-the-dark neon nail polishes because in, at the end of eighth grade, me and my friends, like, it was a glow-in-the-dark neon dance, so me and my friends ordered these, and we all painted our nails them, and we were so cool, so I still have them. But they actually did glow-in-the-dark. It's pretty cool. And then my Jessie's Girl nail polishes, I have this one, which is in Blue Moon. These really need to be shaken, but it's just like a dark blue-purple color. I love Jessie's Girl nail polish. And I have two silver ones. I think I lost one and then found it again, but whatever. These are both in North Star, which are just shiny silver ones. Good for the holiday season. And then I have an Onyx one in Gunmetal. So, yeah. Isn't the packaging so super duper cute? It's all it's like SpongeBob SquarePants, except spun nail bottle square bottle. I think I'll do Essie first. Essie's my favorite brand of nail polish, but I don't really have very many. Um... I don't have any fall or winter colors yet, but I'm going to order some. These, this is Mint Candy Apple. I love this for the winter, so it's awesome. This is Splash of Grenadine, and it's just like a purple Barney color. Yeah, it is a Barney color. I have Lapis of Luxury, and this is also from the resort collection, so is the Grenadine one. And this is Wrapped in Rubies. I love this color for fall and winter. Like, you don't even know. It's one of my favorites. It's like a ruby color with lots of gold shimmers. Then I have Turquoise and Caicos. I said Caicos once time. One time. Once upon a time. I don't even know. I added Platinum, which means Platinum Beach. I'm so cool that I can speak Spanish. These really need to be shaken. My goodness. Okay. And it's just like a taupey brown color. Except the white balance is off, so it looks green. Okay. I should change that. Eh. This is my favorite red in the entire world. This is Russian Roulette. Just like the perfect bright red. It's kind of tomato-y. More than like pink, but whatever. Okay. And now I have these two completely random nail polishes that I don't know the brand or anything because they don't have anything written on them, but they just look like this. And I'm wearing this one on my nails right now, and this is just like a top coat. So I'll do my only MAC polish. This is from MAC, and it is Mean and Green. It's from the Villains Collection, and it is so cool. Like, the dual chrome of it, I love it. Sinful Colors. I have this one. I never wear it, though. It's kind of, kind of weird, but it's called Dream On, number 80. I have You Just Wait, number 858. That totally rhymes. Oh my goodness gracious. I have this one. I really like this for fall too. It's Serena and Chloe. I wear this for Halloween. It's like a pumpkin color. I have, I'm still holding the MAC one. What is wrong with me? I have Queen of Beauty, 923. It's just like a really sparkly silver. Um, Haughty, 831. Sparkly blue. Do, 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 do. I don't really have very much OPI, but yeah, um, this one is NYPD Beat. I love this color too. It's like a really nice reddish plum color. I have, I don't know the name of this, but it's a really pretty pink. I took the sticker off by accident, but yeah. I have Russian to a Party. I love this too for fall, except it doesn't shake up very well, but it's like a ruby golden color. This is one of my favorites. It's Diva of Geneva. Geneva? I don't know. It's from the Swiss collection, I believe. It's really pretty plum with lots of gold shimmers, and it's really awesome. Then I have Chapel of Love. Wait. Yeah, this is Chapel of Love. It's like a perfect mid-tone pink. Peachaboo. I love this. It's so cute. It's like perfect for spring. But yeah, it's like a peachy, shimmery. It kind of has like a green gold um, dual chrome, but yeah. Um, Glitterland, I love this. It's from the Swiss collection as well. It's like a cool tone beigey gold. K 
Cajun shrimp, bright orangey red. I really like this color. It's more for summer, but. And then I have two Maybelline ones. I'm sorry, these are like not shaking at all, but this one, these are Express Finish, and this one is in number one, Fast Dry. I don't know. I don't know the color on it, but yeah, number one, I think. I don't know. It's just like a bright coral orange. Then I have this one in Brassy 280. Yeah, this one doesn't have a sticker on the top. But yeah, this is Brassy 280. It's really, really pretty for the toes. And then I have a Wet n Wild one. And this is Wild Shine Nail Color. It's a really pretty color. It's just really cheap. In Caribbean Frost. I never wear it, though. And then I have this Irene nail polish. I don't know. I never wear this either. It's in 19. Then I have this really cool holiday one. It's from Parfait, I think. I can't find a shade on it, though. But it's like like gold, green, and red glitters. And it's so Christmas to me. I love it. Now I'm going to do my two Revlon ones. And this one is in bubblegum. And it's scented. And it actually smells like bubblegum when it dries. And it's really, really cool. But it's really pretty bright pink. And then I have this um, kind of average strawberry electric. Wah, wah. Yes, this is where I got my YouTube name. It's this nail polish. And it's a cool nail polish. Like, I love it. It's like pretty much an electric strawberry color. You don't even know. It has like a dual chroma purple. It's, oh my gosh. Coolest nail polish, not just because it's my username. <laughs> yeah, who am I kidding? It is just because it's my username. Okay, I have NARS Orgasm. It's a really pretty color. And NARS nail polishes are actually like really good. It doesn't chip or anything, but it's really, really pretty. And then I have LA Girl Rockstar in Groupie. Ooh, Groupie. It's just like a shimmery deep purple. Then I have NYX Girls in... I don't know. There's no shade on this. Whatever. It's just like a deep navy royal blue. I have two of these really standard cheap Claire's nail polishes. One black, one white. They're mini ones, so... And then I have two of the same Art Decos. I have a lot of Art Decos, and they're, like, shimmery blue. And they are in blue glitter. That's how creative. Severely needs shaking, but it's in sky blue. Even more creative than the last. Yeah. But it kind of looks like clouds with the, um, blotchiness of it. You know, it's kind of like the sky. White! I didn't know it got even more creative than that. This one really needs to be shaken. It's like supposed to be pink and it is in rose. Okay, well, that's a little better than white. Oh, I'll give you guys one guess what the color of this one is. It's pretty creative. Like, actually, I'm pretty surprised. So comment below if you think you know the name of this. Yeah. This one is in bright green. Not just green, it's it's bright green, you guys. There's the difference. Mm -hmm. And finally, silver glitter. Who would have thunk it? And I have this Chanel nail polish and I don't know the color, but... It's like a purple color. Bases and top coats. Um, we don't have anything really left. So this is the Revlon Multi Care Base and Top Coat. OPI Top Coat. Bihuen Nail Enamel. I don't know. I got it at a street fair in Rome or something. So I don't know if you can even get it in the States. But it's it's almost past its expiration date, I'm assuming. Sally Hansen Diamond Strength Instant Nail Hardener. And then finally, I have the Chanel La Transparent, except it looks kind of yellowed. I don't know if it's supposed to, but it still comes out clear, so eh. Comment below with what you think the color is it called of this one. Um, yeah. So, check it later. I think I've said that in, like, every video, but, you know, it's true. I will check it later.